Okay, so something really interesting just happened today. I thought that Gotham Knights was done. I thought that I wasn't going to be talking about this game all that much anymore on this channel, apart from a video that I do have planned that I might still end up making. However, the folks at WB Montreal are hinting that there could be something more. Now, I don't know what that could be, but color me intrigued. And hey, if you're ready to try out some potential DLC for Gotham Knights, I'm going to need you to scroll down and hit that thumbs up button. I know some people aren't the biggest fan of this game. For me, it's still a perfectly fine 7 out of 10 game. And if they're going to put some DLC in there, well, I'm in. It's just interesting because, you know, we had launch and then we had the Heroic Assault added in November, which was cool. It's a pretty fun game mode. I can't lie. I mean, the ability to jump in and have four people playing together facing off against Starro. I do wish that there was a full on Starro boss battle. That would have been cool, but that never ended up happening. Still, nevertheless, it's fun to face off against just waves and waves of enemies while you're playing as Robin, Red Hood, Nightwing, or Batgirl. But of course, since November, outside of a couple of patches here and there it's been pretty much radio silence and for the most part everyone has assumed that there's not going to be any new additional content being added to gotham knights and that was a safe assumption considering everything you don't often see dlc drop for a game six months after we got the last content update on it unless you're another superhero game that we shall not name but anywho okay the gotham knights social media pages put out something very interesting today they just tweeted out here the big bads of hashtag Gotham Knights have gathered, but why? And then you can see this funny little concept art image attached to the tweet of Harley Quinn, Mr. Freeze, Clayface, and they're all meeting up with what I assume is their lawyer. Gotta be honest, I don't know how these villains are gonna get out of jail. I don't really know what a lawyer is gonna do for you when you're a super villain that was terrorizing the entire city of Gotham, but I mean, they're gonna give it their best shot and that's all that you can really do. And if you zoom into the table there, one of the images has in writing on it, I believe it says RIP Kevin gone too soon. And I think this is in reference, of course, to the greatest Batman voice of all time, Kevin Conroy. And it was nice that even though Gotham Knights has nothing to do with the Arkhamverse, and I believe WB Montreal hasn't even worked with Kevin, they still pay respect to the man. I absolutely agree that he was gone too soon, and even though Suicide Squad's gotten delayed, I cannot wait to hear what will potentially be his last performance as that character in that game. But yeah, cool concept art image nonetheless. And you know, on one hand, you can look at this and think that maybe this is just some unused concept art. Maybe this is something that was supposed to be in the game but never got added, and they were just doing some fun little tweeting here just to add some stuff to the social media. But the actual developers working at WB Montreal on Gotham Knights were tweeting and quoting this actual tease and saying, you know, essentially that something is coming. And so you got to wonder what type of DLC could be in store for Gotham Knights. Now, I personally would wish that we had new playable characters added to this game, but I feel like that ship has long sailed. And I think if they were going to tease DLC and it was going to be a new playable character, it would be completely different from what they tweeted out here. You know, in Fantasyland, where everybody gets exactly what they want, for me, I would want this to be a Batman prequel DLC where we get to actually play as Batman, and that's why the villains are all gathering. I know it's called Gotham Knights, okay? I know it's about Batman's protégés. We want to put the focus on Nightwing, Robin, Red Hood, and Batgirl, but come on, a DLC that's a prequel where you get to play as Batman Man. Imagine all the customization for that character, the different sort of gear you can attach to him, all the transmogs and the skins you can apply. My goodness, come on, please, please, WB Montreal. But you know, that's my dream world idea. That's something that is in fantasy land, and in reality, I don't think that's going to end up happening. Oh, a man can dream, though. A man can dream. What this could be, which would be very interesting, is maybe a raid of some sort for Gotham Knights. I mean, it is an RPG at the end of the day. I just wish we could have gotten at least one new villain added to this game. I know we had Starro and Heroic Assault, but did we really? We didn't fight him. There wasn't really much besides some cool voice lines. All the waves of enemies that you face off against, yes, they have like the Starro mind control attached to them, but for the most part, they're just the same enemies that you fight in the regular game. So if this is going to be a raid of some kind, then it's probably going to be something that involves the same villains that you fight through those side missions that are available in the main game of Gotham Knights. And hey, you know what? I'll give it a try. If it's four players once again and I can play with my buddies online, just have a reason to jump back into Gotham Knights, I absolutely wouldn't mind. Especially if it's similar to Heroic Assault, just another free update. I mean, why not at that point just take an opportunity if you have the game already to just jump back in and see what's up. Again, for me, Gotham Knights, it may not be the greatest game ever made, but I don't think it's a complete dumpster fire like some people claim it to be. I think there's plenty of fun to be had. I do enjoy 
enjoy the traversal for some of the characters. Riding around on the bat cycle is pretty sweet, and I like the look of Gotham City. Photo mode has been a blast for me. Could it have been better? Yes, absolutely. I mean, I gave it a 7 out of 10 at the end of the day. That isn't a perfect score, and I had plenty of things to complain about, contrary to what the internet will have you believe. But it also could have been a lot, and I mean a lot worse. And I guess we're just going to have to wait and see about what this tweet is in regards to. Hopefully, we're going to find out very soon. And with that being said, now I want to kick it to you guys. Sound off with your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about this tweet? What do you think this DLC could be if it is DLC at all? I want to hear everything you guys have to say in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. I've been Caboose, and I'll see you guys later.